We've been talking about objects a lot in this entire series. And in this video, I'm going to talk about object classes and why you would use them. Now, at the most basic level, everything in JavaScript is pretty much an object. Even the most simple variable, even a variable with a single value, that is in fact an object. You will remember that we put a dot after this and you could actually access some system properties. But in reality, when we think of objects, we think of more complex objects, objects that have multiple values. And here we're defining a variable that has three different name value pairs. And you will remember that we talked about those several videos ago. Now, here is why I'm doing this lecture. Because what if you want to create many objects off the same generic object? That is, you have a bunch of code that you want to reuse again and again. This is where a class comes into play. And you want to think of a class as a template. It's a piece of code that you're going to be reusing over and over and over again. So to set up an object class, we make it a function, and then we define the name of that function. And then we put in the different properties that we want to pass in. In this case, we want to pass in the type, the color, and the miles. It's the same thing that we're doing up here, only down here we're not giving this values. And that's the whole point of a class. You don't want to define values because you want them to be specific when you create your new object. And then we use the this keyword. And all this is is a placeholder for each object that we build. And you know what? Actually, I didn't want this comment down here. I wanted to end it right here. Oh, so again, we use this keyword that is basically a placeholder for the object that we're going to build off of our generic object or our class. And here is where we create our object, right down here. And it all starts with the new keyword. Basically, you're telling JavaScript, hey, I want to build a new object based off a class. In this case, it's our car class, which JavaScript will find right here. So we're saying, hey, build me a new object based off of this code and then pass in these three values. And these correspond, of course, to our placeholders up here. So our type of car is in the first slot, the color is in the second slot, and the number of miles is in the third slot. So all of these get passed into our function and are built into our new car one object that is based off of this template. So you can see how useful this is. You don't have to retype all of this code out. You can just simply pass in the values that you need and the object will be built based off of our class. So that's why this is very, very useful. And then we can create as many different objects as we want. And we may have a truck that we need. We may have an SUV that we need. We can go ahead now and create as many different objects that will have unique characteristics. And that's really the fundamental reason why you want to use objects, because you can make things unique. That's the power of classes. Now, of course, we need to actually execute some code here. So if we go back to our index.html, you, you can see we're going to go ahead and call our change style function which we've put right here, we've done this before. And we're just gonna use the get element by ID method. And we're gonna use the inner HTML property to go ahead and place all of this text on our page when we hit our button. And what we're gonna do now, of course, is call the object that we created up here. That's it. So we're gonna go ahead and actually we can't use car. We didn't create a car object, we created a car one. You could also use the car two, you could use the car three, whatever you wanna do. But in this case, we're gonna call the car one. And you will remember this is what we've done many times, right? We use the dot to access the property. In this case, it's the type of car. For this one, it's of course miles. And for here, it is the color. And then you can see we're just adding on some text to the property. So this should all work very nicely. So let's go ahead and save this. Let's go ahead now and run this. And let's see what we get. And if we hit our button, look, it worked. We got our type of car, we got the amount of miles, and we got the color of the car. Everything worked fine. So that's how classes work in JavaScript. They are very, very powerful and very useful. Okay, I will see you guys in the next lecture.